Dijonny's success and her importance. Um, for us, in the book world, <coughs> we look at the number of editions and re-editions of an author's works. And at this point in time, there's a really vigorous book trade um, in Paris, in England, um, across Europe. We look at the number of translations and the number of works from the 19th century forward, which are inspired by her works. So Dijon Ling published 140 volumes in her lifetime, between the ages of 33 and 80. And that does not include the unpublished things. For example, we really don't know where this text is at this point in time. Um, <clears throat> so her works were published in Spain, Holland, Germany, Poland, Russia, and England, where Adele and Theodora became one of the most successful and widely translated works to be serialized in British magazines. This was also an era of serialization in the British magazines. And, and so it you know, also makes the case for it was easy for Margaret Chinnery to have access to this work. She also read and spoke French, so she could either read it translated, or if she didn't like the English translation, she could afford to have the French translation sent to her. <coughs> And then since um, 1782, when Adele and Theodore was published, there have been 719 titles written about Dijon Lee um, and or her works. And people still are writing them today. Um, she obviously went out of fashion a bit in the 19th century, um, but people have never really dropped her. Um, she's never really been lost and been rediscovered. So using Adele and Theodore, and you can see our first edition up here, <coughs> it was first published in Paris in 1782, um, but with one publisher's notes that there were 690 copies, that's a big edition, that went to 51 different locations in France. That's big dissemination. Um, it was translated and published in England the next year. In 1783, a revised edition came out in 1784, and it was consistently reprinted from 1788 to 1796, ultimately with 29 different editions between 1782 and the early 1800s. So I think just the cold facts speak for how popular her works were 